Hello everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Inigo Iguierte and today we are going to face the lateral side of the knee. In the first video we talk about the anterior side, second the medial side and now is the turn of the lateral side of the knee. And to check this area I usually ask the patient to uh, rotate internally the tibia, the leg, and to place the foot in this adducted position and with this position I have a good access to the lateral structures and it's very easy to perform. And we are going to check the lateral compartment. Um, first of all the joint line and the lateral meniscus. As I always say, the, uh, say sorry, the lateral meniscus is not uh, well assessed with ultrasound but we can take a look and we'll see what it happens. Okay, so uh, to uh, examine this area I place a probe following the direction of the leg and uh, I locate the joint line. In this position we will find the femoral uh, cortical of the femur, the cortical of the tibia with this small amount of cartilage of the femur and the tibia and between them the lateral meniscus. As you can notice the uh, deep area, the deep side of the meniscus is hidden so many of the tears of the interrupters of the, the complicated ones will be uh, not available or not uh, checked with this, this uh, technique okay what about the lateral collateral ligament when i started searching this ligament it was difficult because it's very thin ligament it's a, has a cylinder shape ligament but it's very thin it's not like the uh, medial collateral ligament which is very wide so it's difficult to find and I started searching this ligament in this area and like in the um, battleship war uh, game we miss uh, the lateral collateral ligament in this area because the fibula, this distal insertion the fibula is very posterior so to uh, find this ligament we will take into account the anatomy and usually it's not uh, as easy as we think to find the fibula, the head of the fibula and I usually recommend not to search here but to palpate with your fingers the head of the fibula and place the distal edge of the probe over the fibula. Once we have located the cortical of the fibula, very easy to check with the ultrasound, then we know the anatomy, we know that the ligament is slightly anterior if we are from distal to proximal, okay? So once we have located the fibula, we rotate slightly, rotate anterior the probe and we will find if we are properly located this image okay always check the fibula the cortical of the fibula and try to find this fibular shape this fibular structure here in this position in the first position I have just told you the ligament is uh, relaxed so it's very difficult to assess as uh, mild uh, strains, mild injuries on the insertion of the ligament at the epicondyle or the fibula. And we need to perform dynamic maneuvers. And to do so, I usually recommend to place the ankle over the contralateral leg and to externally rotate the hip. With this four position, we will uh, tense the ligament and we, we will have this image here. I know this way is slightly complicated and you need to, um, to um, continue trying and trying till you have a good view but it is very very comfortable because you don't need to change the position of the patient. If you don't uh, find the ligament in this position then perhaps you can try in a lateral contralateral decubitus uh, because it's uh, more comfortable for the explorer to find but usually in this position I have the advantage to push down the, the knee and even try to uh, get the ligament more tense so it's very once you have the, um, the, um, the skills to, to, to find the ligament in this position it's very comfortable for, the, uh, for you to, to, to explore it without changing the patient of position okay so this is the same patient with the ligament tense in this position. This is the condyle, this is the fibula, the head of the fibula. The popliteal tendon is below the lateral collateral ligament and its insertion is um, to locate this ligament 
we will place the probe over the join line and slightly proximal and we will find this fossa this popliteal fossa in the femoral condyle okay in the femoral lateral side and inside you will find the popliteal tendon like this um, oval shaped tendon located inside this fossa okay another structure we can uh, evaluate is the biceps femoris tendon it's this insertion and the biceps femoris has two heads the long head and short head and both come together to insert in the proximal fibula so again you check the fibula you place the probe over the bone once you have found the cortical then you will find if you are posteriorly located you will find the tendon of the biceps femoris and as you can see here this image is quite similar to this one of the lateral collateral ligament so how do you know we are uh, evaluating the biceps femoris or the lateral collateral ligament because of it the orientation of the probe if we are slightly oriented anteriorly we are in the lateral collateral ligament and we, if we are slightly posteriorly we are in the biceps femoris and a second tip is the muscle. The muscle of the short head of the biceps femoris goes very distal. So if we are going, if we are seeing muscle, we are over the biceps tendon. Okay. Biceps femoris and lateral collateral ligament has a very have, have a very close relationship. So again, this is the lateral collateral ligament remember the orientation slightly anterior so if we place the probe always rotate small reminder and this is the biceps femoris and see how it embraces it surrounds the insertion on the fibula of the lateral collateral ligament so they share more or less the same insertion and when we perform an ultrasound with a high resolution probe if we turn in the short axis, you can see here the biceps femoris with the short head muscle still here. And you can notice even the distinction between the two components of the muscle. This is the short component of the tendon, uh, short head, and this is the long head component of the tendon. Okay, And if we follow these two components distally, we notice how they will uh, surround the lateral collateral ligament. Take a look here. As we are going distal here, this image here, sorry, here, this image here is that we are at this level. So this is the lateral collateral ligament on its short axis. And notice what happens when we go distal, how the lateral, the biceps femoris eats here, the lateral collateral ligament and they both insert in the fibula here okay again sorry they surround the lateral collateral ligament and the insertion at the head of the fibula the insertion of the biceps femoris is quite complex has different components uh, three inser insertions on the fibula and one insertion of the tibia but uh, this is not the uh, the um, goals of this video only uh, i want to talk about its more important insertion of the fibula okay and another structure is the iliotibial band as you know its origin is in the iliac crest and goes um, goes down all over the lateral side of the thigh and its insertion is in the tibia, in the gerdis tubercle at the anterior lateral side of the tibia. To locate this, this structure, notice that this anterior respect these structures, this respect to the lateral collateral ligament and the biceps femoris. So, if we look, place a probe following the direction of the thigh and we reach the joint line, we we'll find here, above the popliteal tendon, this thin structure fibrillar structure here which is the iliotibial band and if we follow this structure we will notice this, its insertion in the gerdis tubercle 
It's easy to find once we know it's slightly anterior because it's very wide. So it's quite easy to, to find, okay? And very superficial. This is a panoramic reconstruction of the iliotibial band. This is the vastus lateralis here. And this is the iliotibial band and its insertion in the tibia, okay? Notice that usually the location of pathology is here between the location, um, this narrow, um, Pa this narrow pass through the femoral condyle. So this is an area of compromise, and this is the area with, uh, on which uh, usually the tibial band will be uh, injured. Okay, and for example, uh, I've made these drawings to show you the um, the behavior of the tibial band when you run. As you can see, this epicondyle can um, can injure the tibia if you repeat and repeat this movement because of its uh, passing through this structure here. And if we place the probe here, you can notice the, the shape, the contour of the femoral condyle, and you can imagine how this structure, this thin structure here, can um, be uh, pinched by uh, injured at this area here. And this is an example of the normal side and the contralateral with this swollen area underneath the tibial band with this edema located here. This is a small bursa uh, here between the tibial band and the femoral condyle. And a small re reminder, a small review, the structures of the lateral side, we are going to check the lateral collateral ligament, the biceps femoris tendon, and the iliotibial band. So if we place the probe slightly anteriorly from the head of the fibula, we'll find this image here. If we rotate the probe posteriorly, we'll find this image here, the biceps femoris. This is the lateral collateral ligament. And finally, if we go anterior, we'll find the iliotibial band. So this is the slow rose Z form more or less. Okay, it's not perfect. Okay, and that's and, and that's what I wanted to tell you about the lateral uh, structures of the knee. I hope you find it useful. If you if you do, please uh, please check the like and don't forget to subscribe if you want to be informed about new releases. Thank you very much.